I enlisted when I was 17, and at the time I didn't know much about my own sexuality, so I didn't think that Don't Ask, Don't Tell was a big deal. I thought if I just keep it to myself, it'll be easy. But as time went by, I started to realize that it wasn't easy because I was surrounded by so many people who constantly talked about their experiences and stuff like that. I couldn't talk about my own, so I had to just keep everything bottled up and that made me feel like I couldn't really make friends or grow like a good camaraderie with my colleagues. When I was 19, I was sent to Maryland where I became really close friends with some people and I started coming out to them and I started to realize that they didn't really care. But prior to them knowing that I was gay, um, they would make little comments that were often very hurtful. And even the upper ranks, like the, the sergeants would make um, some homophobic remarks. For example, if I walked into the room, somebody would say, oh, here comes a pretty one, things like that. I couldn't say anything to defend myself because if I did, then it would be kind of a confirmation. I would be pretty much letting them know that I was gay and I was very afraid of losing my job. I mean, if I lost this, that means that I have no money to pay for school. I lose the right to wear my uniform, which I am very proud of. Uh, and it just didn't seem like something worthwhile. I don't think that my sexuality was worth getting kicked out over. With this whole repeal uh, last September, the last time that I was at drill, we call them drill, um, I suddenly thought to myself, whoa, I'm wearing my uniform, but I don't have to hide who I am. I found this to be a little bit odd it's not an easy adjustment, especially for those of us, for those of us who have served for quite a while now. I mean, my contract is almost over, so I've had this mentality of, um, you know, being in the reserves or National Guard, you can go home and, and and spend most of your time as a civilian, so you can be yourself. But then when you get called into duty, it's like you have to switch mentalities, just be pretty much a complete different person, um, because. Being gay kind of influences your lifestyle a lot. So you really have to, it feels like you're walking around or it used to feel like you were walking around with a piece of tape over your mouth. You couldn't say anything. Now I can talk about what I did the night before or I can tell people if I'm dating anyone or I can put a picture of me and my boyfriend on Facebook once I have a boyfriend. And it's safe. I mean, it's everything's better.